Massive relief effort is underway to help the survivors of the deadly typhoon in the Philippines. At this hour, at least 1,700 people are confirmed dead, among them two Americans. The United Nations is asking for $300 million for immediate aid, and international crews began a round-the-clock effort to bring in supplies and evacuate survivors. Tonight, a local woman is fighting to get her parents to safety. Stephen Sheeta is live in the Satellite Center with their emotional story. Stephen? Maureen, imagine someone you love trapped thousands of miles away without food or water. Now, for two women in Alexandria, that is the reality they are struggling with right now. In the aftermath of the typhoon, the struggle now for so many in the Philippines is to stay alive. For American Charles Branscombe and his Filipino wife, Jovita, each day, every hour, without food or water, the chances of survival diminish. Oh, it's just hard. After days of dreadful silence, finally word for their daughters in Alexandria from a cousin in the Philippines. Their elderly parents made it through the typhoon, but they are far from safe. We're just trying to get the help out there. Charles Branscombe has diabetes, and his wife already was in poor health. She recently spent time in the hospital during a visit to the States. Their daughter's fear has given way to desperation. I just want to be able to give them a cookie or something, anything to eat, I mean, to eat or drink or something. From their Alexandria apartment, they continue to work the Internet and phones. They have contacted the military, the State Department, even the U.S. Embassy. I don't know what else to do but to just shout it out from the rooftop, someone save my parents. Tens of thousands of people are at risk, many in similar situations to the Branscombs. Their daughters know trying to launch a rescue for one elderly couple from thousands of miles away could prove difficult to impossible. Please, we need them out of there, um, you know, hour by hour. It's, it, it makes a difference. The airport is too far and chaotic. It is no longer an option. The only way out they have at this point apparently is a boat, but their daughters fear the Branscombs may be too frail, too weak to withstand the trip. Reporting live from the Satellite Center, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.